Welcome back to another video. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jada. I am a mom, fashion designer, business owner, and just an overall good vibe. So come on and join the Savvy Squad. You are going to love it over here. Today, we are going to do a how-to video. This is how you can make this kids Dickies inspired jumpsuit that I made for my son for his second birthday. If you wanna see more of this content, definitely keep on watching. For this project, you will need scissors, a ruler, elastic, thread, pins, and a safety pin, a pin or chalk, whatever you prefer, and your baby's um, clothes, pants, and the top, and also your favorite fabric. The first thing that you will need to do is take out your shirt and lay it on top of your fabric. I went ahead and folded my fabric once and I um, got a collared shirt so it can represent the shirt that I am using. So I'm going to basically just trace and outline this shirt. Um, this shirt fits my son perfectly so I just want to trace exactly what I see here I could have made it a little bigger so if you want to you can add a half inch seam allowance um, when you are tracing out the measurement I'm taking a ruler to make sure that these lines are precise and we're able to cut what we need to when the time comes Don't forget to fold your fabric once so you have two pieces, two of the same pieces, a front and a back. Now we're gonna take one piece and measure it right down the center of the shirt and draw a line straight down and go ahead and cut that.
onto the bottoms. I am taking some jeans that my son usually wears and I am taking the elastic. Usually there's elastic that can fit around the waist. Um, I'm taking that apart because I want these jeans to be as um, normal as possible. I should have ironed them before I started this process, but I am folding the jeans in half and I am placing them on a fold. So remember to fold your fabric once and I am going to trace them exactly like how I see and I'm going to cut on a fold. So the side of my jeans that are towards the scissors over there, it is folded as you can see. It is folded right there. So when I cut, when I open up the pants, they're going to be bigger than what they seem like on here and that is how you make leggings jeans any type of pants is cut them on a fold okay okay Now we have most of our pattern complete and we are ready to sew. So the first thing that I am going to sew are the pants. And I'm just showing you that these pants are folded before I start sewing, that I am sewing one pattern to itself. I am sewing along only this area I'm leaving an opening at the top of this and I'm going to show you what it looks like again once I pin them together so you can see So now, as you can see, I've only sewn the bottom, so where there is still room to put your hand in there and flip it over right side up. And I did two pants legs. Um, so now, we are gonna put those pieces together. And I'm showing you how I do this as well. I'm starting with the corner of the crotch area, where it's a little dent, like a little point. And I'm just gonna sew along that part and then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side to where they look like pants. Now we're moving over to the top and you should have three pieces for your top. One of them should be a full piece and the other two should be cut in half. Um, and we're only going to sew here and here. We're leaving room for the arm and room for the neck. And I'm going to show you how I do that as well. Now we are ready to put the top and the bottom together. Uh, make sure that the shirt is inside out and we are sewing along the bottom of the shirt. Um, make sure that the pants are right side up and we are showing sewing along the top of the pants. Make sure that you're leaving, leaving a opening so you can insert your child into the garment. I also went ahead and measured around the waist area and I got 16. I went ahead and folded the um, ruler to 
see how much elastic we would need so um, I got eight eight inches of elastic and 16 inches is the waistband I am going to create a 16 a yeah 16 by 2 inch fabric um, where I'm going to add that on to the waist of the garment and I'll show you how to do that in just a second apologize if this is getting confusing but I went ahead and created that band that I was telling y'all about it is 16 by 2 and it's just a band where I am putting around the waist and I'm also going to leave an opening for this band and I'm going to take my safety pin and my elastic and this is just a old trick it's really ghetto if you have one of those um I don't even know what they're called but this is what I do to get anything through a small hole I just take a safety pin and push it through um, and this is going to create that elastic look once your child puts it on it's not too big it's not falling off it's not um, too small it's giving them room to stretch so it can look like this now I am going to move on to the collar. This is without measurements and I do apologize. Um, if you want to know how I make my collars, definitely please let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just making a basic collar for this garment.
do want to apologize I did not get to finish this look with you guys but it did come out nice all I did was added a zipper in a pocket and I went ahead and used my creek cut and added his name to the garment I hope this video was some type of inspiring to you thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video peace out Girl Scout